So, John, I've been hearing great things about the new Elastoma you've got. Can you tell me more about it? Absolutely. There's been a, a market need to really develop an elastomer to meet the needs of rapid gas decompression, in particular in the valves, oil and gas industry. As we're now drilling deeper, as the, the conditions are uh, becoming much higher in terms of the pressures, we need to develop elastomers that can meet those, those demands. So James Walker, about three years ago, started a uh, development program where really what we're looking to try and do is get the very best rapid gas decompression for elastomers. So three years ago, we started looking at things like polymer architecture and how elastomers behave under these conditions. And now what we're looking to bring to the market is what we believe a world-class elastomer for rapid gas decompression. One of the issues with rapid gas decompression is you can meet the minimum standards. So for example, with a NORSOC standard, most people will test at 5.33 millimetres. But the question really there is, does that replicate what happens in industry? So James Walker have taken this new generation of elastomer and we've now got approval to NORSOC at 10 millimetres. We've also got approval at NORSOC at much higher temperature ratings. So what we believe we brought to the market is a material that will meet the future demands for rapid gas decompression. And what's the end user response been to this new elastomer? The, the response has been excellent. Um, Historically, when, when you talk about the elastomers, you're talking about quite small sections that have been tested. When we're now telling the end user that we've actually got approvals at 10 millimetres with zero damage, so that's a 4 0 rating, meaning the elastomer has not suffered any RGD damage at 10 millimetres, their, their response has been uh, one of amazement.